Welcome to your evening full body deep stretch. This is going to be amazing to end your day with so that you can get into bed calm and restful and your body will feel so open and ready for sleep. In this routine, I'm gonna be using a bolster. My favorite is the Brentwood Home. If you don't have one yet, I've got an amazing, nice discount code for you in the description box below. Otherwise, if you don't have one yet, just grab some pillows around the house and let's go ahead and get into our routine. Let's begin by sitting up on our pillow. So I'm gonna take it behind me and I'm gonna take a nice little seated position here. Find a good little wedge for yourself. So the hips are up and the knees are a little bit further down. This is gonna really open up our airways here. So we're gonna first start by connecting to our breath. So go ahead and close your eyes. Place one hand on your belly, one hand on your heart. And now is your time to focus within. I'm sure you had so much going on today. And right now I want you to focus on breathing all the way down into your hand, down into that lower pelvis area. Deep breaths. Many times throughout our day, we actually get into a shallow breath. A shallow breath only really goes to about your clavicle. And so you're not really using the fullest part, your fullest expansion of your diaphragm. So focus on breathing deeply down into your hand. And maybe this could remind you of you in your life, of are you expanding to your fullest potential? Because you know that you deserve to be living at your best, to be doing your best, being your best, so that you can feel your absolute best. So continue to breathe deeply down into your belly Fill up your whole body with this breath of yours, knowing that all of the power is deep within you. And at this time, you get to just connect with it, reconnect, to re-inspire and re-empower you to the powerful, beautiful woman that you are. Good, and let that go. Go ahead and take a nice big inhale in. Reach the arms up towards the sky. Exhale, lower the hands through the heart center. Nice, now we're gonna take the arms up and we're gonna twist around. So place the hand onto the knee. And I'm using the pillow here to give myself a little bit more of a twist. Feel the chest lifting up. Look back behind you. And release. Inhale in, reach up to the sky. Exhale, place the hand on the knee, one on the bolster, and twist. Ringing out and letting go of the day's stress. Letting that all go, good. Now we're gonna take the hands behind the head and I want you to twist with just the upper body and the torso and open up through the chest, through the ribs. Open up through the elbows, good. And other side. Feel like you're just wringing out all of that tension, letting it go. Inhale into the center, exhale. Twist deep with that exhale. Inhale center, exhale. Letting everything go from today, knowing that you did your absolute best. One more time. And release, nice job. We're gonna take a nice side bend, inhale in, exhale. Since we are up on the pillow, we're gonna get a nice deep stretch through the low back, through the side body. Hold here and I want you to feel the breath going deep into the ribs and the side body. Soften through the shoulders and come on up and let's go to the other side. Inhale and in. reach up, reach up. Try to elongate taller as you lower down. Ah, oh, this feels really good. Soften through the shoulders. 
Take a breath, fill the breath, reaching all corners of your ribs, hips and spine, and come to the center. Nice job. All right, so we're gonna move into some of our hips now. So take the bolster in front of you here. We're gonna take a nice little double pigeon. So a couple options. So your first option here is to take basically just a seated twist. To go a little bit further, you would take the knees and try to stack the knees right on top of each other and have the feet nice and flexed. And maybe you can lift up the feet so they're a little bit further out from you. Then you're gonna take the bolster and just allow yourself to release and stretch right here. So just hold here in this stretch and breathe. slowly make your way up and now we're gonna switch sides so you can either be here in this seated twist where you would just stretch forward from there or you can take it a little bit further have the knees stack right on top of each other and have the feet almost straight across or as far as you can make it and then bring that bolster back in and with every exhale, you find yourself going deeper and deeper into the stretch, releasing through the hips and the low back. Take one more big deep breath in right here. And then lift on up. Amazing. Okay, so now we're gonna switch it around a little bit. We're gonna place the bolster over our legs. Shake out those legs, that was a lot in the hips. And now you just get to get all nice and comfy, cozy right over your bolster or pillow. And you can stack them up as high as you need and then just allow yourself to fold forward right here. come on up and just switch the side of your cheek so that we can make sure we're even on both sides. Continuing to breathe and release.
good. And then come on up, moving nice and slow. We're gonna take ourselves into a nice runner's lunge here. So you're gonna first bring the foot, actually let's just begin here so you can see. So you're gonna be in a V. So you're just like this in a V and then pull the foot into the thigh. So the bottom of the foot is on the thigh and then we're gonna take the bolster here like this and we're gonna first take a nice side bend into it. So take a big inhale in, think of stretching up through the sides of the waist, through the belly right here, inhale, exhale, and just take a nice little side bend all the way over. Maybe you can grab the foot. And I want you to think about elongating through the low back. So see if you can actually slightly tuck the tailbone under to take that stretch even deeper. One more breath here, inhale in, exhale. And then on your next inhale, rise on up. Good, now we're gonna face the leg. So just turn the torso towards the foot. Inhale in, nice long stretch right here. And then reach on forward over the leg. Good, and now you can just relax right over the pillow. And so what's nice about this is that you can really let all of your weight go into the pillow and into gravity. So your job right here is to see if you can just release and let go. I know it's so hard for us to really let go of that control and that's why I really love these kinds of restorative classes because it really allows you to just surrender and completely just release yourself. All right. Come on up, let's go ahead and do that on the other side. So let's first start in that V, so we're even. Bring the foot in, place the pillow inside of the leg. And then here we go, take a nice stretch, lift up, inhale. Exhale, bend over towards the leg. Think about that tailbone, see if you can stretch the low back by tucking just slightly under and feeling the stretch happening from the tailbone all the way to the fingertips, reaching long. Breathing into the side body. So I want you to fill up the ribs all the way down here, expanding your diaphragm. One more inhale in. And good, release. Go ahead and turn the torso towards the chat or towards the pillow. Inhale and reach up towards the sky. Exhale, fold forward and release. Now take the bolster and let's place it here just like this. And now we're gonna tuck this foot underneath us. We're gonna go into a really nice deep thigh and hip opener. This is one of my favorites because it really gets deep in there. And notice the other foot is flat down on the ground. Take the bolster, make sure it's right up against your tailbone and then you're going to lean back into it just like this. 
So you're gonna notice, of course, right away that thigh and hip flexor opens up right here. Good, and you can just release the arms out to the side. Find a good comfortable position where you can just relax and open up. Good, remember to breathe and use your breath to open up these tight areas. Visualize the breath moving into these dark spaces. Maybe there's some cobwebs in there. Imagine your breath just removing those cobwebs, opening them up, making them nice and bright and open. And then carefully come on up and switch sides right here. So tuck the other foot in. Staying deep within yourself, allowing yourself to truly surrender. Letting all the work go, letting the day go. Continuing to speak to yourself positively. Continuing to be kind to yourself and really let yourself surrender, knowing that you are held right here. You are supported, not only by the universe, but by our community here, by me. And it's nice having that feeling, just reconnecting with that feeling of support and community. Take deep breaths in and out through the nose. One more big deep breath in and release that foot. We're gonna take a little figure four stretch right here. So make sure that those the tailbone's still on the on the bolster here, and then we're gonna take a twist. So you're gonna figure four, ankle is over knee, and then you're gonna let that knee just fall over to the side for a nice little twist. And back to the center again little twist back to center one more time little twist and center good let's go to the other side so ankle over knee twist and center and twist Center, twist, and center. Good. And then now we're going to come into our final pose. So let's take the bolster underneath the knees. It's always my favorite place. Roll it back just like this and go ahead and lay down. Good. Gotta move my mic. Okay. So just let the arms rest up, release. And I like to kind of tuck my tailbone under like that because sometimes we get stuck in this anterior tilt. 
So go ahead and if you're like that type of person, like how I am, kind of tuck it under to help stretch your low back. And I want you to just continue to practice surrendering here. Notice if you're holding on to tension anywhere. Ask yourself, do I need to hold on to this tension right now? Listen for the answer. And if the answer is no, then just let it go. Fully surrender and trust. Know that you are fully supported. nice big inhale in and then place one hand on your heart and one hand on your belly just like how we started our class together noticing the difference of how much more calm and relaxed you feel and in this state of calm and ease you can really tackle anything that comes your way because you've now reconnected to your inner strength and your inner power take one more big deep inhale in and exhale, release. Go ahead and reach the arms up overhead, stretch out the legs. And if you're going straight into bed, then go ahead and keep the eyes nice and closed. As we close out our class, just bring the hands to heart center, bowing towards your beautiful body and just taking a moment to acknowledge yourself, your body, your life, sending love to you, your family, to our community and beyond. Namaste. Beautiful work today. I'm so glad you joined me for this and you're taking care of yourself. Be sure to subscribe to my channel if you haven't yet, like this video. And if you haven't had a chance yet to get yourself a bolster, remember I have the discount code down below for you for this Brentwood Home one. It's my favorite. All right, I'll see you in the next video. Bye.